You wanna fool people into thinking that you're actually talented? Well, I discovered this through TikTok because that place is always cancer. Open up Procreate real quick, click on settings, and click on app. Nothing out of the ordinary here. But what you didn't know was that there was a secret option. Insert photo, just swipe to the left. Shazam! Insert a private photo. Detective skill. Now, this is what it does. Take a photo from Pinterest, or you know, Microsoft Bing. Let's take a portrait. Then insert it as a private photo, just resize that real quick and now we're going to trace just be patient with me right now okay picasso we're done now we're gonna look at the playback and then bam there's no sign of that photo i didn't even know i was tracing bro so it's a way to insert photos without having them show up in the playback or the time lapse video the private photo has its own layer by the way now you could use it for practice for studies or you could put up a photo of a handsome man to serve as your inspiration while drawing it won't get seen bro be my guest 8 out of 10 tip next so if you want to zoom out real quick just use your two crusty fingers to pinch it real fast bam like no matter how much you've zoomed in bam just pinch it bam and even when the canvas is small look at that it's so tiny just pinch again shazam awesome tip 11 out of 10 next another thing i learned on tiktok in fact i learned everything on tiktok because i have adhd everybody knows that if you draw a crappy shape like this and hold it it's gonna turn into a smooth shape but if you press a finger down it's gonna become a perfect circle and if you click at the top voila you can adjust the circle however way you want and drag it anywhere let's do a crappy square next click this again and then bam it can be a rectangle or a perfect square and the same with a triangle okay wait what the heck is this okay that's kind of weird six out of ten tip. practical but nothing special very sexy next so you want to look at your screen without all the tools and stuff well well, just use four crusty fingers and tap once. This is going to show the full screen, no distractions. Simply tap again to show the tools. Awesome, cool. Next, I feel like everybody knows this, but there's always gonna be stupid people who don't, so might as well, you know? You don't need to put your references in the canvas, by the way. There's a reference window exactly for that. Just go to settings, click on canvas, and you'll see this switch for references. Now, this can be resized, you can import photos, or just show the whole canvas canvas, which can be adjusted. It even has the face camera feature, so you can use your ugly face as a reference. Why would you do that? Next. Okay, so I saw this one TikTok, how to make an outline brush. I honestly don't know why Procreate doesn't have that yet. Also, I do not know what the heck I'm doing right now. What the heck is this toddler doodle? So anyway, this is how you make. Just find a random brush, any brush you like. I'll be using serum. Now you gotta swipe left like this and duplicate it twice. Then combine those two brushes. Now now you tap on it to open up settings is you want to click on this and set it to different so as you can see you can't really see anything bro so what you want to do is go to properties down here and tune up the minimum size and look at that smegzy outline brush it's a little heart oh yes very cool so yeah you can basically use this as an outline or you can use it as a text like the sound effect thingy okay next so there's this plus icon on the brush size i never thought to use it because i'm stupid but i found that that when you press this, it's gonna save the settings of your brush. This. For example, I want my brush to be at 69%. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Just click on the plus and it's gonna have a mark. Now, it's gonna be there forever. Just tap on it and it's gonna be at 69%. You can do that with brush opacity as well. Okay, cool. Next. Now, look at this pen. My hand is very shaky. It looks like crap. So what you wanna do is click on your brush, go to stabilization, then you wanna boost it up a bit, the amount. Before and then after. Shazam! Technology. 9 out of 10. Next, if you want to get pure white or pure black in Procreate, just do this. Slide the color picker to here and then double tap. This will automatically go to pure white. Same with black. Just go here and then double tap. You can also double tap anywhere else to go to the edge of the colors. Speaking of which, did you know you can actually drag the color wheel like this so it stays permanently on there? And if you want it back there, just close it. I'll go right back. Shazam! Okay. 
okay, whatever. Next. Now, if you want to combine layers, what people would do is select all the layers and then click group. And then you have to click that group and flatten it, which is stupid. It takes too long. So instead, just use two crusty fingers and just pinch again. Just do that little swipe thing. Very smooth. Very fast. 11 out of 10. Next. So let's say you have a drawing over here. So you want to color real fast. The simple way to do this is to continue filling. This is how it works. You drag and drop your color like normal, just drag it to the circle, and then bam, it's color. Now, there's a little blue button that says continue fill. And now, you can use it like a bucket tool. Unlimited refills, just tap on it, dude. However, if you want to separate the colors into a different layer, simply create a new layer, then turn this into a reference layer. That way, your colors are separated from your liner. Next. Okay, so you can transform multiple layers. Just click the layers, and then swipe right to select multiple layers and now you can transform it by clicking on this Shazam. but also you can also liquefy multiple layers so we've got all the layers selected and then just click liquefy and then Shazam that way you don't have to merge all the layers together just so you can liquefy by the way you can't do this on clip studio apparently I look it up very sad anyway next if you want an instant color palette just look up an image in Google so for example I want some something emo like Batman or something. Just look up Batman and then drag and drop it onto color palette thing. Literally just drag and drop it. This is going to generate an automatic color palette which is pretty cool. 9 out of 10. Ever notice that when you upload your drawings they look like crap? Like pixelated crap? The canvas size is the first and most important step. Don't skip this. Now when you're first opening up a canvas you can select a bunch of pre-made templates like this. What you want to do, we're going to create our own by clicking this button. First, you want to rename it by tapping on Untitled Canvas. Now let's give it a professional name, you know? Then you want to choose how big your canvas is. It needs to be big. Something like 3600 by 4800 pixels. That's good enough. And now it's not going to show up looking like crap on Instagram. Now, this is important. The DPI. Now, I don't know what it stands for. I'm stupid. But if you don't want your drawing to look like absolute crap when you print it, you gotta set it to at least 300, okay? Or else it's gonna look like crap. Look at the difference here. Absolute pixelated crap. And then here we have sexy parrot. 11 out of 10. Next. Okay, lastly, since I showed this artwork so much in this video, it's a little speed paint. Okay, here's the thing. I recently realized that most of the freaking Procreate brushes, they all kind of suck. So I went ahead and downloaded this Psy brush. It's free. And it's also really cool. So that's my last hack. Stop using crappy brushes and start using free but good brushes. I'm probably gonna put it in the description. Or I might decide to gatekeep it. But whatever. Here, this is just a sketch, okay? I haven't finished this yet. But whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Watch this video next. And I'll see you there. Stay cool.